I was walking down the street in Mandra, just minding my own business, and I came across this place. This is an artisan bakery. It's run by a guy called Nate, and he is so passionate about everything he makes out of here. They've got great food, great coffee, great bread, everything I need. And you know what? I'm cooking some crab later on today, and I need some great bread. So where else would I go? In here. I'm going to see Nate. G'day, Nate. I told you I'd be back. Hey, buddy. How are you? Really well. That's now, good. I'm making some uh, some crab. I'm going to boil it up today. Yep. But I want some bread to go with it, some really good sourdough bread. And I know this is the place to come to for it. How many different breads have you got here? Oh, we've got about five different breads we're doing in Samudra here at the moment. All of them are artisan. They're our artisan range. We've got a beautiful sourdough. Oh, look at that. This one here, our traditional sourdough. That's really good. Me, myself, I prefer this beautiful sourdough Italian ciabatta. Well, I've touched that one, so I have to take that one. <laughs> now, you do so much more here. It's not just about baking, is it? No, it's not just about baking. We're also working with a local fishing family. They're fifth generation. So we're using their beautiful crab that you're obviously going to get a taste of tonight. Obviously, we've got a huge advantage with this beautiful bread. So we do beautiful breakfast and coffee here every morning as well. Nate, that all sounds great. But I've got to cook that crab later on. And I love this bread here. And I'm going to take your advice and take the ciabatta as well. Perfect. Thanks for that, mate. I'll let you know how I go in the morning when I come in for a coffee. No worries at all, mate. Thank Cheers. you. I've chartered a houseboat to go up the canals to cook some crab. They're going to be beautiful crabs. But along the way, a pot of dolphins just popped out and they've been swimming along the houseboat, riding the bow waves. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Big ones and there's a couple of little baby ones as well. I reckon they know there's some great crab just up the road here. <music> Damien, I made it! Lovely to see you, Adrian. Good to see you. I've got the houseboat, now I need some crabs. You're the expert. How long have you been doing this for? I've been here commercially about 15 years, but I've been coming down here ever since I was a kid and I'm 48 years old, so I've been, been doing this for a little bit. So if we don't walk away with a bag full of crabs, well then... It's your fault. Maybe my fault. <laughs> well, it can't be your fault, can it? No. So what are we going to... We've got these nets here, what do we do? Uh, well, these are scoop nets. And what you're allowed to do is walk along the shoreline or as deep as you want to go. Yeah. And you're allowed to catch 10 uh, crabs, uh, 127 millimetres and above. Perfect. Well, I'll start catching crabs. You can advise me on it. But I'll just say one thing. Please don't laugh at me. No, it's OK. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I've got one. Damien, I've got one, mate. Ah, uh, it's a bit small. Let us a look. Ah, uh, it's a little girl. Yeah. We'll let her go, because I think I've found a few big ones, mate. Ah, uh, you can tell the difference between a professional fisherman. Look at that. That looks fantastic, and that's ready to eat, isn't it? Well, you get the water ready, I'll get the beer ready, and we'll do it. Oh, I think that's a good thing. I can relax, and you can catch all the, uh, the swimmer crabs. Not a problem. Off we go. See you soon. Cheers. I've sent Damien off in the boat to catch a few more blue swimming crabs. And I've set this little camp up here. Have a look at this, the most beautiful little beach, probably the smallest beach in Western Australia. And I've got my water boiling away. The water I use to cook the crab is always the water that I caught it in. The salt water that you catch it in makes it nice and sweet. And that's the trick to making really good crab. The other trick, of course, is to pop the crab in ice water. And that means it puts it to sleep and it's ready to cook. If you don't put it in ice water, all the legs will pop off and it's not what you want to do, trust me. Now the trick is, once it's boiling away, you take the lid off the top of it and then you pop the blue swimmer crab straight in the water. Once it comes back up to the boil, let it simmer for a couple of minutes, take them out and they're ready to go. I'll throw these in and we'll have some beautiful swimmer crab ready to eat. time when I cook I use a lot of different ingredients and a lot of technique and a lot of fancy stuff but this is really really simple and I have a feeling it's going to be one of the most delicious really easy stuff always tastes the best now I'll just take the lid off and I'll show you what I mean pop this crab up like that that's cooked 
beautiful steaming crab ready to eat. I'll just take these out of the water, pop them on a plate, let them cool down just a little bit, and Damo, I reckon he's on his way. We can't wait for this one. Damo, come over here, mate. Grab a seat. What do you think of that? That looks good. Now, pop your seat down there. Look at this. I've got some crusty bread. This is how we uh, bust up the crusty bread in the uh, in the chef's world. You don't, you don't need a fancy kitchen, do you? Nah. Do you want me to get a bit of crab ready for you? Pull some crab out of that. Now, the thing I love about this this place is you've got a beautiful. You've got the paradise, haven't you? And the other thing is, oh, ready to go. There you go. Is not only is this the sweetest crab in the entire world. It's also the way you guys run this fishery. It's going to be here for the next couple of generations at least, isn't it? With the Marine Stewardship Council accreditation we've got, yeah, definitely. Well, don't worry about that. We'll just eat delicious crab. What's in that dipping sauce? Sriracha chilli and mayonnaise. Oh, have, there you go. Have a look at this one. Oh, my God, look at that. There you go. Damo, I'm going to take you crab fishing with me all the time, because not only are you good at catching them, you're good at peeling them as well. You've cooked them well, because when they pull out of the, the shell like that without getting stuck, it means they've been cooked perfectly. So obviously, you know your business. I reckon we've got two salty old dogs right here. <laughs>